We're talking a lot of high school football, but right now also talking high school volleyball. Yeah, we're already deep in the league play. The playoffs will be right around the corner. This season is just moving along right now. Joining us live on the show, they are your Ivy League leader, Riverside Polly. The Bears join us here live on the Inland Sports Show. Head coach Dana Fullwider joining us and uh, Caden Croy as well. And, and Coach Fullwider, let me start with you. Um, terrific start to the season. You know, what have you guys done well to jump out in front and, uh, and grab that top spot right now in the Ivy League? Oh, well, thanks for having us here, Pep. Um, you know, we started off kind of rocky, I think a little bit uh, less successful than we wanted to, but um, we just kept, we've just been grinding every day. You know, we've uh, really worked on our serve receive, a lot on our serve receive um, and our body movements. Um, in serve receive, keeping the ball in front of us. And then today, our whole practice, we just practice defense. So, um, yeah, we've just, been, we've just been grinding. And I keep telling the girls, we want to peak in September and October. We don't care about August. <laughs> You know, Coach, that was that leads right into my next question was, you know, early on in the season, you might have some ups and downs and some challenges. But if you learn from it, maybe that's a good thing, right, that you guys can build from that. And, and like you said, kind of trend up and, you know, be peaking as you get to the CIF Southern Section postseason. Definitely. You know, we only we only lost four girls last year, but um, we also had some other members of our team, you know, not come back. And so. Um, it was, I think a lot of the beginning of our season was really just, um, figuring out who we are and how to play together and how we can maximize our strengths and how we can make up for each other's weaknesses and in areas of growth. So, um, we've just, I, we've just grown exponentially every day. It's been great to watch. All right, coach, speaking of growing and getting better, I mean, you've got a great player here. Join us here on the show, Caden Croy. And before we get to Caden, what do you think makes her a special and unique volleyball player. What does she do well uh, for the Bears? Um, one thing that I've really enjoyed watching Caden, because um, I've watched Caden as a freshman, you know, till now her senior year. And this year she is fierce. She's always had a really strong hit. She's always had really, really, um, really great fundamentals. Uh, but this year she has turned it up not one notch, 10 notches. I mean, she's, she's really become a really fierce competitor and she, she really wants to win. And I think that that's what's setting her apart right now is just her tenacity and her fierceness. She's awesome. You know, Kate, hearing coach say that, um, what do you think the difference maybe is for you this year being a senior? Is it just, you know, it's your last high school season and you guys want to win a league title and make a playoff run. Like, you know, what, what's maybe different this season than maybe your previous three at Riverside Poly? Um, I think this year we kind of have something to prove. I think we're all looking forward um, to league and CIF, but I think this year we just really want to clinch our second league title. And so we're hungry and personally I'm super competitive. So that just makes me want to win. And I think our team is really excited for the opportunity. You know, Coach, let me go back to you. You guys are rolling along right now in Ivy League play. I, you already have a win against Paloma Valley under your belt. You've, you beat him it already. I mean, you've got some big wins already under your belt. Like you said, you want to peak at the right time. How do you keep this team, you know, with that upward trajectory before you get to the playoffs? Because uh, obviously you're playing good teams and you're beating good teams and there's a good chance you guys might run the table in the Ivy League, but you still want to feel like you guys are still getting better, right, and still improving. Absolutely. I mean, look, Pep, this is a really, really competitive league. Yeah. And we just go in every day knowing that, you know, in any given day, anybody can do anything in high school athletics. And so we just keep focused on ourselves. You know, we just try to play our best match and not really worry about what's going on the other on the other side. Um, but it's we just have to stay focused. We were talking about that today in practice. We just have to continue to stay focused. And because these are all awesome teams. Anything could happen. Um, so we just have to concentrate on our side, do what we know we can do well, and uh, just keep moving forward, keep pushing. You know, Kaden, let me go back to you because obviously winning is fun. You play to win the games, right? Uh, how much fun are you having this season, especially because you guys are, you know, so good this year and there's a chance that you guys could have a really special year. How much, how much are you enjoying this? I'm having a lot of fun. I think at the beginning, 
um, of the school year, it's like really exciting because volleyball is the first season. So I've been really enjoying it and taking in my last year being a senior. So it's a, little, a bit bittersweet, but um, we're super excited to finish the season strong for sure. You know, Coach, you mentioned that you didn't really lose a whole lot of players from last season's team. I think you said there was four, right, players that, um, that you lost from last season's squad. So you've got a, a, a large returning group. How much, um, you know, do you play off last season and, this, you know, the success you had last year? But how do you, how do you build upon that? Because I don't know if these players even know that, you know, what was it? Just a couple of years ago, it was like 0-18, and, and all of a sudden you guys are, you know, Ivy, you know, first place in the Ivy League. You guys have come a long ways in a short amount of time. Yeah, it's, I, it's to think about that is just is really exciting. It's been it's definitely been um, a fight and I, I credit the players. You know, I came in and I told them I'm not your savior. It's not me. It's I can help you. But you guys are the ones that have to do it. So, you know, we did lose um, Kayla Ulick, our amazing libero who is playing for UC San Diego and they'll be playing at UCR tomorrow night, by the way, if anybody wants to watch. <laughs> Um, but she was such a huge part of the team. But then we had our freshman from last year, who's now a sophomore, Sarah Ellen, she stepped right into that role and her confidence. She gains confidence every single day, um, every single match she's playing better and better. And then we just had, you know, we have a few sophomores. We have some, uh, juniors that are getting a lot more, um, repetitions, a lot more experience. And then our other seniors, we can't forget about, um, Kate Sullivan, who is just a beast in the middle. I, she's, she improved leaps and bounds over last year. She had a really strong club season. And then our setter, Bianca Clark is just, you know, she's putting the ball where our hitters need it. And, and when you've got big horses like Caden and Kate and Aurora elder and Michelle Milligan, when you've got those players, you know, you have to have someone that can deliver the ball. And Bianca and our other setter, Holly, are just, they're putting the ball where we need where we need it so our hitters can hit it. It's, it's so fun to watch. Yeah, you know what, Coach, that, that's such a great point. Like, it, you know, it, it takes the whole team, right? Like, you know, Caden might be great, and she is great, but someone's got to get her the, get her the ball. Like, someone's got to put it in the right spot, you know, for her to bring it down. I was looking at her kill percentage, and it's, like, off the charts. So you, Coach, you've, brought, you've been around a lot of volleyball. Um, the seasons that Caden's having right now, like, where does that maybe rank to some of the volleyball that you've seen in your time as a coach? Oh, it's, she's definitely the top one of the top players that I've, that I've coached and, you know, she puts her work in, in the club season. And I just, I feel like I just reap those rewards when she comes back to Polly, you know, and, you know, we work on, on some things and, but seeing her senior leadership this year, that's, like I said, she's turned up for competitiveness and, and her leadership role is just, it's stunning. It's, it's really cool to watch. I really enjoy it. <laughs> Well, Katie, obviously, you know, you've got good genes. Uh, your, your parents are very athletic. And, of course, your dad, the, you know, the head coach at CBU for, for men's hoops. I know he's super competitive. I get to see – I have a front row seat to his, you know, basketball games. Where do you get your competitiveness from? Is it your parents? Yeah, for sure. I think it, it's a family. It's a family thing. Um, I think we're competitive about everything. So, <laughs> volleyball. Like helps. even <laughs> even family game night or whatever you yeah. guys are doing, everything's competition? Yeah. <laughs> Kaden, how do you keep your, your focus? Obviously, you're going through Ivy League play. You guys are piling up the wins right now, but you've got big goals to get to the CIF playoffs and make a deep run. So how do you stay focused on each and every match, whether it's Heritage or whoever else is coming up next? Um, how, how do you just stay dialed in and stay at that top level? Um, I think for us, to help us keep focus, we're just going to take it one game at a time. I think we've done that this whole season. Um, and even when we did have a rough, rocky start, we just, you know, next play mentality. So I think right now we're just, we're just going to take it one match at a time and try to get wins. And, um, I think that will work for us as long as we keep putting in, putting in the hard work during practice. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Coach, uh, I'll wrap it up with you. You know, before the season began, I don't know if you guys set goals or, or expectations of what this squad might be able to do, but now we are, you know, I'd say at least halfway through the regular season, probably on the back half now as we get closer to the playoffs. But what were the goals going into the year? Was it another league title? Was it, you know, get to a CIF title game? Like, what kind of expectations did you have? 
Um, I think for us coming into the Ivy League, we knew it would be really difficult, um, but we also knew that we had some special players and a good chance. So I, for those who haven't seen our gym at Poly, we have every sport that's won a league title has a banner. And we were really excited to put our year, you know, the years that you win the league titles up on the banner. And so our goal, and it's great because we look up at the banner every day, like we want 2022 up on that banner. Um, and then we haven't really, I mean, everybody says they want to win, you know, everybody wants to win a CIF title, but we really tried to keep our sights on that, on that league championship. And then, um, just taking the games as they come, it's exciting to be ranked really high in our division. Um, but we're just going to keep grinding and, and focusing on our game and, and, and playing up to our strengths. Well, Coach, listen, I always appreciate our conversations. I, I really do appreciate your time. And, Caden, it was great to talk to you as well. Congrats on the success so far this season. And hopefully there's still a lot of season uh, still in front of you, hopefully a, a deep CIF run as well. So thank you, ladies. Really appreciate the time. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. All right, that is Caden Croy and Coach Fullwider here on the Inland Sports Show. Thank you very much, ladies. Riverside Poly Volleyball.